Okay, this is another passage of scripture these people try to use to say that there's rapture. It's 1 Corinthians 15, start 51. Behold, I'll show you a mystery. We shall not, not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. So like I said, this according to them, this is a rapture. I can't believe some of the things that they think. Now I want to go back to Genesis chapter 5. Verses, we'll read 1 and 2. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day when Yahu created man, in the likeness of Yahu made he him. Look at this. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Now, I actually want to look at the definition of the word Adam. You can see it's a Dom, uh, Strong's H120. Look, man, mankind, human being. You see that? Every human being is a Dom. Everyone. Now, I want to show you. This is when uh, Abel was killed by his brother. And God says, What is it that thou hast done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Look at the definition of the word blood. Strong's H1818, the word is dom, as in a dom. Figuratively wine, but it's actually the meaning of a dom is uh, with blood or blood. Now, we're going to read this part. It says, And Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Now we're going to look at the definition of the word Eve. And this is Eve, Strong's H2, 2332. The word is Chava, and it means life. So, if you look at these two together, God took Adam, the blood, and gave it Eve, or Chava, life. He gave, took the blood and gave it life. It's kind of cool. But anyway, we're going to go on to um, Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And uh, Yehu Elohim formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became, not given, he wasn't given one, he became a living soul. So we're going to look at the definition for the word soul here. Well, if I can ever get, there it is. The word is nephish, Strong's 5315. The definition, you can see this is soul, self, life, creature, person. I'm not going to read all of this. Look, living being, in other words, a nephish, is a living being. This is the key right here. Living being with life in the blood. Okay. Now we're going to go to, this is Leviticus 17.11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your, your nephish. For it is the, the blood that maketh the atonement for the nephish. So, the blood apparently is an issue. And we go to 1 Corinthians, or back to 1 Corinthians, so to Paul is talking, and he says in verse 50, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. So you remember that the blood is what contaminates us, is what corrupts us. So when he says we shall all be changed, 
uh, the dead are going to be raised without blood and we will be changed to not have blood because the Spirit of God, the Neshama, will be the what keeps us alive. The, the Neshama alone, which is the breath from Genesis, uh, will be what keeps us alive. We'll no longer have blood. So that's what that's talking about, guys. This isn't. Look, this is the resurrection. And I already showed you in the other uh, uh, video where Yeshua said that the first resurrection is after the tribulation. So, I mean, th for, this is talking about after the tribulation. I'm sorry, this isn't a rapture verse either. <laughs> 